Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright API series. So in the last two videos, we have seen that how to call a get call, how to get the response and everything. In the last video, we have seen the dispose response as well. There is one more small thing we can talk about the headers. See what happens whenever we hit any API, we are getting the response headers. Although we pass the request headers, but along with the response, we are getting some headers and there are some headers which are very important and we have to test it we have to validate it it's correct header or not so they have given two methods one is the headers method directly and uh, this will return map of a string okay it will return one map and a string comma string type it means this is key and this is value and there is one more method it will return an array with all http headers associated with this response and header names are not lower case Headers with multiple entries such as set cookie appear in the array multiple times. That's okay. So headers array, it will return, which will return the list of HTTP headers. So generics type will be HTTP header here, right? So it will be name of the header and the value will be the value of the header. It will come in this particular uh, response type. So let's do this. Is it really uh, working or not? So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to create one more uh, class here. Let's say I'm going to write API uh response headers test okay and i'll do one thing and just quickly do the same thing that we always do we will create one before method and the after method so i'll just create my playwright context and before setup method everything i'm going to write it here and then i'm going to write at the rate after test tear down method means simple playwright dot closed okay so i'll do one thing i'll just simple write it here and then I'll start writing my at the rate uh, test annotation. So let's write at the rate test and we will try to hit one API. So in order to hit the API, first I'll show you in my postman. So let me open the postman and then what kind of headers that exactly we are getting. So for example, let's see if you uh, go to this particular application, this one and uh, create new user and let's go to the request console, not create new user, get the specific user. Let's see this one. And we are calling the send request. This is the status that we are getting. And you can see these are the headers we are getting. And every header will have its own username, sorry, uh, you, uh, key and the value. So this is the key and this is a value. You can see colon before colon cache control and the value. Same thing like content type application JSON. There are many important headers and endpoint headers we are getting it here. That like which server it's coming from Cloudflare or something like this we are getting. Right. Same thing if you see in the in the postman. So let's see, this is the api that i'm going to call for the get call you don't need any authentication you can directly uh, hit this particular api this is a body but header 29 headers that we are getting here you can see that right same thing here in the tabular format we are getting in the postman so how will you get the same header information with the help of headers method or headers array method in play right right so let's do that so i'll do one thing at the rate test annotation i'm going to write that public avoid get headers test method and then i'm going to hit that api so i'll do one thing that uh, to hit the api let's copy paste the same thing this is a request and uh status code let's check up to the status code perfect so copy this and uh simple paste it here so status code we are printing it on the console now from the api response see it's super simple right from the response you get the status you get the status code, you get the body, you get the text. Now, same thing, you get the headers here. So again, two methods, headers and the headers array. This method will return something like hash map or map kind of object, a string or a string. And this will return a list of HTTP headers. So I'm going to use the first one first, and then we are going to use the second one. Okay. So headers is giving you what? See, it's returning the hash map or map object reference. So I'm storing inside the map of a string or a string. The generics will be a string or a string. And let's see here I'm writing, this is my headers map is equal to this. And you need to import your map. So let's import this class from java.util package. Now, if I really want to print this map, so can I use it? So see, I can use a simple for each loop to print it. So let's write a simple for each. And then here I'm writing that for all the k comma b, and I can use a lambda, and then I'm going to use this. Uh, uh, let's write that uh, system dot or let's see writes s out. And then here I'm writing that this is the key. 
So let's see the key is, or let's write K along with the plus, and then I'm writing colon and then plus V over here. Okay, remove like this. Okay, it means for each and every key and value, just simple write a for each loop with the help of Lambda, we can print it, or you can write a normal for each loop also, or typical for loop also, we can do it. Hmm. So now let's run it. Is it really working or not? So let's see on the console. We are not validating anything right now. We are just printing it on the console. So nice. See response code 200. And you can see all the headers are absolutely coming fine. Content type and all such things. Perfect. See whatever the headers we were getting in the postman here, the same headers we are getting it. See these postman headers. I mean, in the postman, we were getting the headers. Same thing. We are getting it here as well. That's a good. If you really want to check, let's see one thing that is out and uh, dot dot size. It means how many headers we are getting. So let's run it again. I do one thing. I'll just print with the message here that uh, total uh, response headers like this, right? So let's run it again. See, API testing is super simple and you just need to hit the right things and then getting the right things. So here it's giving total headers are 29. That's absolutely great. This is exactly matching with this here. You can see headers 29 here. Perfect. So this is also fine. You can use this method. If you really want to validate anything, you can write it that assert dot assert equals. And what is your actual value? Let's see. I'll fetch the actual value from here. Headers map dot get which key we have to pass. So I'll just pass some specific key. Let's say I'm looking for the server information that server should be equal to what it should be equal to Cloudflare or content type or whatever you want to validate. You can validate that. So let's see, I'm writing a one more assertion. This time I'm saying that all these headers are coming. Let's see content type is important that are we getting in the response? Are we getting the application JSON or not? And uh, here the complete Okay, a value that we have to pass along with the care set UTF-8. Paste it here. Perfect. So let's quickly run it and let's see if my test is <clears throat> uh, getting passed or not. Okay, so yeah, test is absolutely getting passed. My assertions are getting passed here. Perfect. So this is the first way of using the headers. Second method that they have given, you can directly use headers array. But this will return the list of headers and list is always order base collection, not like hash map, right? So I can do that as well. So let's see using list now that we have seen using what this is using map, right? Now we are using lists. So I'll do one thing from the API response. Once again, dot see this headers array, very straightforward method, simple methods they have given and headers array is returning what? list of HTTP header. So can I store inside the list of what list of HTTP a header that I can use it. And now I'm going to create, let's see, this is my headers list is equal to this giving a nice reference name and list that we have to import from Java dot util package. Okay. You can see that uh, imports are coming map and list getting imported from Java dot util. Then this is what this is an order based collection, right? So in order to use a simple for loop that I'm going to write or for each loop, I also, I can write it. What type of data we have? We have HTTP header. See, if we have a string type of data, we are going to write a string here, but the generics are HTTP header. So we are going to write HTTP header, create a reference variable, let's see E, and then you go to the list one by one and keep fetching all the headers in the same sequence. And then I'm going to write what E dot see here. You can write name and value together E dot name and E dot value. That's so awesome. You can see exactly the same thing that they have given two properties. You get fetch name and the value both will give you the string name of the header and value of the header. So I'll do one thing. I simply write as out and uh, I'm going to print it in our, uh, this way that E dot name plus with some colon plus E dot value and I'll put some space also here. Hmm. So let's see one by one. Are we fetching the list of headers or not? So let's run it. I'll do one thing. Let me just comment it out this one or let it be like this. I'll do 
let's uh, write s out here and then here after this line we are printing the list okay so that we can see both the outputs okay so this is uh, running and uh, let me just show you response code is 200 from the first response all these headers we are coming in the form of map and then after that again see we are getting it because of this we have written right e dot name colon so date is the name and this is the value again content type is the name and this is the value that you can check it here right so with the help of list of uh, headers also you can use it but i would prefer map because with the map the assertion will be easy for me i just need to pass the key and this will give you the value i can easily match with my expected value so this will become your actual value and this will become your expected value here here if you really want to validate then because here it's coming in the form of a complete value is like this this is not the key and this is not the value right so what you can do is that you can just check that okay in this particular header list the x pagination pages colon 250 is there or not like this you have to validate that so that's what map hash map will be easy for us to validate and assert the things later but they have given both the options that's why i'm covering it here so i hope it's clear very straightforward how to fetch the headers and everything just try it on any application on any specific api and then fetch the headers and validate it accordingly that's all for this video guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all